po tayo, sir, lalo na if may nabasa ang book, super saya, i-share sa team. Tama. No? So, magkaroon tayo ng short na ano, Q&A no, before we end this. Okay? So, tignan tayo ng kahit na dalawang question dito. Ah. I'm not sure kung may mga nagtanong eh. Sir, paano nyo hinahandle ang rejection? Okay. The way I handle rejection is like parang breakfast ko yan eh. Kung baga, normal sa akin yan. Kumaka- kinakain ko lang yan. Okay. Uh, most of people kasi, pag nagsisimula sila sa ganitong business, ma- na-hurt pa sila sa rejection. But time will come if you change the way you perceive things or change mo yung perception mo, yung pananaw mo sa mga bagay-bagay. It will change your life. Okay. Jerwin, paano mo nasabi yan? Pag yung mga negative na bagay like rejection, ang iniisip mo sa kanya is it's part of the process. Magiging iba yung tingin mo sa negativity or to sa rejection na yun. Tandaan, rejections, doubts, fear are just part of the process. If logical ka mag-isip kung utak mo yung ginagamit mo, ang tingin mo dyan, part of the process lang yan. Okay, hindi pwedeng wala yan. Kung baga sa paminta, yan ang isa sa mga ingredients ng ulam mo. Okay, parte yan. Okay, so, so that's what that's how I handle rejection. So, I think logically. Kung baga, I don't use my emotions. No? Ayan. Ayan, tanong ni Alisa, no? paano po kaya sir pag may trainings po weekly for the team pero iilan lang po talaga umatin. Alisa good question no. Okay, when we started this I watch training or uh, ganito training no. Uh, way way back pre-pandemic pa no. Sometimes lima lang yung umaattend sa training namin. Okay. Hindi kubaga we started really small. Pero it doesn't, it, hindi yun yung nag-stop sa amin to continue the commitment to train every week. When we started din sa sa Zoom no and sa Facebook Live before, sorry, during the ano pandemic, hindi naman din ganun kalaki yung, yung ano natin, yung audience. no um, When we started yung the the company or the team no hindi naman siya malaki kaagad but really it's a matter of commitment and it's a matter of consistency okay um second ang tip ko rin Alisa is to um to create uh, something na babalik-balikan nila okay to create something na bakit ako a-attend ano what's in it for me Anong mangyayari? Ano ba yung ano ano matututunan ko? Okay. So those are the things na possible makatulong sa inyo na para mas dumami yung attendees no. So third, uh, probably since naka-Facebook live siya or yeah, naka-Facebook live yung Zoom niyo, baka naman kasi hindi sila umattend kasi ipe-play na lang nila sa Facebook nila. Okay, so that's one thing, no? Kaya konti yung attendees. But yung views niyan, baka probably mas marami. Okay, so those are the ano, no, the pros and cons, no? So sa akin naman, the way I see this kind of training sa every Saturday natin is uh, it's a matter of consistency. It's a matter of the things na matututunan ng mga tao. And also, it's a matter of uh, regardless of how many people watch it live. But The, the the more important is how many people will view it for life. Kung baga, uh, ilan yung mga kapanood nito one year from now, two years from now, ten years from now, na may matututunan pang something dito sa training nito. Okay? So, again, perspective yan. Okay? Yan. Thank you rin sa'yo, Alisa. Hopefully, nasagot ko, no? Okay. So, I guess... Um, Ayan, no? Okay. Last question na to. Last na sasagutin natin, no? How or when to approach ang isang warm market? Um, ang masabi ko dyan sa'yo, Coach Chris, is how or when is... First is when, no? When is 
uh, anytime. Kumbaga, kahit madaling araw yan. Kasi the way we communicate now, ngayong itong season na to, itong pande, during this time, is ako personally nakaka-receive ako ng messages randomly. Madaling araw. Kumbaga, pero that doesn't mean sasagutin ko siya on the spot. Okay, so it's kung when ang tanong mo, it's anytime as long as kailan ka sasagutin ng kausap mo. Okay, second second question mo is how? Okay, good good uh, good thing natin dito is una meron tayong mga inviting trainings no na talagang napakaganda yung mga inviting sessions natin. Uh, pwede ka mag-search sa Facebook natin no but one of my tip is if warm market yan is to invite them using trust yung tiwala okay kumaga y- yung tiwala sa yo okay most of the warm market natin magjo-join yan because may tiwala sa atin not because what not because maganda yung binebenta mo or maayos yung binebenta mo but may tiwala sa atin sometimes kahit may kahit napakaganda ng binebenta mo napakaganda ng uh, kung ano man yan pero walang tiwala sa yung tao hindi mo rin yan mabebentahan Okay? So, I hope marami kayo natutunan today. Ha? Okay? Pwede kayo mag-comment ng mga natutunan nyo. And do sa mga manonood nito, 